Hey everybody, what about the power range? I'm TK and this here's my wizard. Wizard, yeah. <laughs> Let me make that grow. I'm Dusty. And uh make sure you got here. Was, you were studying. Yeah, like, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. It really does mean the world to us. On today's episode, we're playing, we're playing carpet games. Carpet games? Yeah. So I got an old carpet we're gonna throw away. Don't get carpet burned. No. We rolled it up, we're gonna shoot through it. See what makes it through it. So we got it laid up right now, and eventually we make it through it. We're gonna fold it in half and try again. Try again. Yep. See, ready, biggin? Yep. Make sure y'all stick around in so he gets hit in the face with a pie. First, we're hitting it with the uh, Heritage 22, chamber in 22 long. We got us a nice little full metal jacket, 22 long. Got a new little Heritage pistol here. You know, stars and stripes. That's pretty good. I like that. Makes it shoot stronger. It does. If I can get the round in. All right, Dustin. Click or bang. Boom. Let's see. A little high. Solid shot right there. Nothing. All right, Metigorous here. We're back again with the Heritage Rough Rider, but this time we've swapped out a cylinder for a Doc Holiday. If you can see that, it says Say Win on it. And this is a 22 Magnum cylinder, so we're gonna give this a shot and see what we can get. We might not give that a shot. Got the safety on? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, man. We're safe. Yeah, we are. All right, we'll see what we can get this time. I had a little more thump to it. Uh, I don't know, little buddy. Why don't you pull it back it some? going nowhere. Yeah, we got nothing. Nothing there. back here. I ain't got the Glock 28, chambered in 380 auto. What do you think's gonna happen, little buddy? Um, we'll eat some threads. Yeah. Nope. Let's stick with let's stick with the one in the middle, the third one. The third one. Yeah, that's the one we shoot that so far. Uh oh. I went through. This is DC. I got my HK VP9. Gray frame with some standard full metal jacket ball. Just gonna take a couple shots with it. Standard full metal jacket ball, nine millimeter. I know we're making it through it. Now we're trying to catch around with it. Oh, it busted that complete, didn't it? Yeah. Looks like it went through the bottom of that one and then just came out the side. Next, we're hitting it with the uh, FNS 40, FN, FN, FNS 40, with a uh, hollow point this time. See what happens. Let's find out. Get a little buddy. Yep. Well, it definitely went through the threads. Yeah. Did it go all the way through? I think it did. Well, I mean, if it's got a hole on both sides. Hey. It didn't open mine. up. <laughs> oh, look at it. Caught the threads and didn't open up. Yeah. Well, y'all see that? That's got wood on the end. Well, I think it smacked the... Ah, uh... Uh, you can see the fibers inside the round. 
And then when it hit the water, it just went straight through. All right, y'all, next we're gonna go ahead and fold this sucker in half and see what happens. And if we keep making it through it, we'll keep putting jugs behind this to see if we can catch rounds. What you got? Next, got the mm -hmm. Smith & Wesson 38 Special, little mm -hmm. detective. Yes. And we did fold it in half, put some jugs behind it, threw some Do tape on to hold it together. Yes. And once we get through it with everything now, we're just gonna see if we can catch rounds with jugs. A little hollow point. A little hollow point. Yep. Yes. Which way is this thing from? Okay. Alrighty. Alright, biggin. Okay. You good? Yep. Oh man. Saw water pop up. Clear. Okay, people. So what he did was he can't aim. Oh, crap. He, he just now realized what he'd done. He skimmed the top of the rug. I people. even aimed down. <laughs> I even aimed down to do that. Here, you talk to him while I go get you another round. Sorry, y'all. I even aimed down. That was, uh, I was just showing y'all what might happen, not what will happen here in a minute when I get in a round. All right, y'all. One more again. Same gun. Same kind of ammo. This time, let's not do that again. He didn't ask if I was ready, did he? Ah, uh, he's ready. This is where he went in, out, <laughs> in, out, in, out, in, out. And here's the new one, right there. And the water is not leaking. I don't see no kind of exit hole. No. All right, I got a Camber 1911, 745 ACP. I'm not going to tap it on the slide too hard. Full metal jacket. Yeah. What day? All right. What do you think? I think it's gonna stop. Clear. Which one is this near? Nope. That one? That one. Alrighty. Nope. Alrighty, next we're using the you birdie had a dusty moment just now. You birdie CMS Pro, chamber 45 long. And we're gonna see. Wait, was that a joke? Yeah, okay. what happens? All right, little buddy. You good? You good? I ain't gonna stand here for you all day long. <laughs> Clear. I was seeing how long you was gonna wait. somewhere nothing came through little buddy I don't see anything dusty here got the Glock Gen Glock <laughs> Glock 20 Gen 4 chamber in 10 millimeter got hollow points you think this might make it yeah make it to the first judge Seen water pop up. All right, get some groupings on there. Oh yeah. Oh, it went all the way through. Hey, this is DC. I got my shoe off a of Rhino. I'm gonna be shooting some Full Metal Jacket 357 Magnum. You think it's gonna go through, man? I got a feeling it will. All right. We lined up more jugs back there, so if it does, we hopefully catch it. Yeah. Well, a good shot there, and I hear some leakage. Don't quite know how far it went. That one's good. That one's good. That one leaking. I don't think that one is. I went in, kind of veered off. Yep. Oh. Well, 
That's all right. Still, good job, little buddy. I right, got the Rossi R92, chambered in 44 Magnum. Got a little hollow point. Yeah, kind of, sort of. What do you think? I think it's going through. I must wonder if we're going to catch it or not. Clear. Good solid hole right there. Oh yeah, it came out with some force still. Went in and stayed in. Is it in that jug? Can I pour the water out? Yeah, go ahead, I got away. Look at there. I was able to catch a 44 Magnum using just a carpet and some jugs. Good job, little buddy. All right, next we're using the Galil chamber in 5.56. And we're going to see if we can catch the round. We only got, what, four jugs back here? So we'll find out. If I can cock the thing, it'll be all right. All right. You good, Dusty? Yep. Ooh, I think you caught it. <laughs> Unless it deviated out. Hang on a second. Clear. Pop that jug. You, um... Yeah, that one's gone. Oh, nope, it's got a bullet right there. Or is that threads? Where? What was that in there? Is that there's threads? All right, I don't think we caught it, but we're gonna keep going up to see if we can catch some. Big Tigger is here. We got a 458 in a 300, 300 grain. grain hollow point. From Underwood Ammo. From, yeah, from Underwood Ammo. Oh yeah, it's on this side of the gun. <laughs> and we're gonna see, see if we can catch it. Just how far we can go. <laughs> uh, I don't know if we caught it or not. <laughs> well, it is raining at the fire range right now. Well, he went right through, y'all. Knocked the bag on purple four down. Oh, McTigris, you my friend today. I'm gonna let you uh pour that bottle out, little buddy. Yep. Cause I see something down in there. Turn it upside down all the way. Look at that. There she is. There's a 458. With the jacket. And there be the lid. That's what I'm talking about right there. Good job, little That's buddy. That's good stuff. Yeah, man. We just need that cheer wine sponsorship. <laughs> That's what we need out here. <laughs> all right. Got the Marlin 1895 guide gun. Chambered in 4570. Gonna shoot a big old chunk of lead down there. Now we just caught the 458 big one. You think you can catch that one? We did add a jug for you. I think there's a chance. Maybe. Golly. <laughs> Not a chance. <laughs> It went straight through and just that gum ripped. You see anything? No. Nah. 
<laughs> hey, it's DC. I'm here with my Star Scout. This is the Star Scout in 308. The concept was originated by Jeffrey Cooper and perfected by Star Arms. This thing is chambered in 308. Comes with a collapsible bipod. That thing is and slick. A, and a 2.5 power Leopold optic branded for the Star Scout. We'll be shooting uh, some soft tip 308 out of this. I got a feeling it's going to destroy a couple of those. <laughs> yeah. And I'm wondering if maybe it turns sideways or something. Because these are not hit. Where'd that one go? <laughs> Gonna try one more again? Sure. Alrighty, we're gonna try one more again. <laughs> that one way straighter. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Good job, little buddy. Well, I know they bust the majority of them. That's got a little pinhole in it. <clears throat> that was actually, I think, still good. Moving this around, I think we might have actually caught that round. I heard something in there. Hey! There's your 308. It's all smushed up. All right, y'all. Hey, I came here what I was thinking earlier. <laughs> I can't. I said I, I was thinking something I was going to tell you, but I can't. I said it's on the tip of my tongue what I was going to say. I told him a while ago before we started filming, like I got something to say real quick, so don't, don't hit me up real fast. No, no, I had something to say too. It's on the tip of my tongue, but I didn't forget. Yeah. Hope y'all enjoyed that episode. Yes, we Make did. Sure too. Like, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Means the world to us. And, and do us a favor and yeah, check see if you are subscribed. Make sure you're subscribed because. Yep. Yep. Subscribing to our channel, it helps us out more than you realize. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share our videos on Facebook. All right, Biggin. Well, it seems like a carpet. You, you get pie today. It seems like carpet ain't a good uh, thing to stop me around. No, no. Them uh, caution tapes are a whole lot better than. Yeah, we got We still got to make the caution tape best. So, all right, we're going to do this one, two, McTigger. My fingers are pointing at him. <laughs> We might have a uh, McTiggers. We might just let a. Uh, what do you say, McTiggers? The whole bowl. I'll the whole take bowl. It. Okay. All right, we'll be right back for some pie, bit, some pie business, some some padidas, some pie business. I'll get right in a second. I promise. This is whipped cream. Yeah, it's uh, it's hot in uh, Lincoln, to North Carolina, right now, folks. And our uh, pie filling done filled out. <laughs> so I think you done pretty good. Today. Oh! <laughs> It's still cold as <laughs> Look at the camera and say thank you. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Dusty out. <laughs>